Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Keeping up with the rising and lowering prices of different cryptos is kind of hard. I mean, if you're trying to track 20 or 15 cryptos at the same time, you know, uh, every time you want to learn the price of each one of those, you would normally have to log in, let's say, to TradingView or one of these sites or Binance or wherever you check your price, your crypto prices. And it's kind of hard to do that and it takes time. So what if there was a tool that would allow you to do that with a simple glimpse that is always on and shows you different cryptos and just by tapping on a certain button you can see even more information about how that that price has been behaving the last day so in this video i'm going to show what is my favorite tool to track all those uh, crypto prices and hopefully it will be useful to you too so without further ado let's get started So this is a hardware tool that you plug into your computer. It's called Elgato Stream Deck. And you probably have seen that uh, in use by other industries like video editing and whatnot. But I found that there is a great uh, way to use it for crypto or even for stock exchange uh, investing. So I'm going to share my screen with you so can, you can see in the, my browser uh, what this is, what it looks like. And then after, after going and browsing through this page, I'm going to show you my actual stream deck to see how I gather information from the crypto world in my own personal uh, deck. So this is uh, the stream deck and uh, basically each one of these buttons is a screen and at the same time it's a button. So in each one of these little screens you can uh, configure it to show you a particular kind of information and then you can configure it so by the pressing it you can go and do certain things. So let's say you have a Bitcoin button and you want to buy Bitcoin on Binance, just by clicking on it, you can actually configure that to happen. Isn't that amazing? Imagine how much time you would save uh, by having that configured. So uh, right now that the price of Bitcoin is dropping, imagine if you wanted to react quickly and instead of having to log in and do all this stuff and opening a browser tab and typing Binance.com and then you know after logging in, going to the right menu, uh, you just tap on a button on the interface and, and you're there. Uh, other than that, uh, you can also have a quick glimpse at uh, the prices of crypto. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. But let's see what options they have available. You can actually, if other than for, for financial investing, you can use that for YouTube, for editing, for uh, a lot of things, even configuring the overclock on your computer if you're in gaming. Uh, there are several versions of this one is the six uh this one is the smallest one it's got only six screens and i mean it's not bad but i'm sure you're following more than six cryptos right guys even if you're investing in the stock exchange i'm sure you're following more than six stocks so then you have this middle of the road uh option which has got 15 tiny screens where well, they're not tiny but they're little screens slash buttons and this is the one I have because uh, it's I don't follow more than 15 at a time. Of course, sometimes I do follow more, but there are the main ones that I always want to keep track of. So and then you have the large one, which is this one. It has so many screens slash buttons that sometimes it's kind of hard to find the, the, the right ones. So uh, if this is useful to you, I would try this middle of the road uh, option unless you have a need for the larger one and of course the def i definitely would not con even consider the small one this is useful if you are into editing audio or video and even then i think it's much better to have the middle of the road one now i'm going to show you my uh my deck so you can see what i'm doing with it for crypto So here we are, this is my stream deck. And as you can see, I'm tracking different cryptos and um, you will see on the lower side on this area, the main cryptos that I track, um, let's say Bitcoin, which is, you know, I just noticed it went above 30,000 to 31,000. So that's good news. And in this screen, you will be able to see, you know, the ticker, which is BTC, then the current price, and then the low of the day, which is 29,726, and the high of the day, which is 32,645. 
then uh, the green sign at your right says it's grown or uh, yeah, it's, it's gone higher at the rate of 1.2%. And uh, that green to orange marker over here tells you where we the current price is um, in terms of the low and the high. So let's go and see Luna because this is an interesting one. And I just made a video about Luna and Anchor Protocol. Uh, so you will realize that Luna right now, which we have here, it's at the, it's close to its lowest of the day. And of course, it's close to its lowest of the month and probably the year. So you have to watch that Luna video if you're looking for bargains in the crypto space. But right now, uh, what I want to show you is if you can actually tap on any, any, any of these. So let's tap on Luna and you will see the graph of this particular token. And it's uh, an easy glimpse uh, just clicking it. So this is our one hour bars. You can configure them to be one minute or one day or whatnot. So just click and click and you get that information. Uh, and then you can actually uh, compare several of them. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin and BNB and I can compare those graphs really easily. And let's say for some reason it's not focusing. So you will have to excuse me, guys. Uh, this is a new setup. And then uh, Luna, I'm going to click here so I can easily compare the graphs of each one of these tokens and what they're doing and find the best investment opportunities. Uh, also, as a quick uh, show of what you can do for stock exchange, uh, this is not stocks, I'm going to click on stocks and I'm going to see the same thing, information for the stocks I'm following and trading. And I can, I can actually do the same thing. I can see the price. Reds are going down, greens are going up. I click here, I see the high and low of the day. So as you can see, guys, this is really useful information. Uh, let's go back to the camera. And uh, this is really useful to follow the price action of the cryptos you're looking for. And in, in one simple glimpse, without having to turn on your phone, or open software and browser tabs and all that information uh, or extra steps that might be kind of uh, slow, slowing your uh, workflow. Uh, this tool does that for you. And I'm going to show you briefly how I configure them so you can see how easy it is to, to arrive at this information. So this is the configuration uh, panel of this uh, deck. And in here, you will see the exact same configuration you saw a minute ago on my deck. And um, I can actually just copy and paste one of these. So I'm, I'm going to click on right click copy, then uh, right click paste. And now I have another version of VeChain, which is one of the tokens I've been investing in, which is rather low right now. Uh, and I can change that so I can choose which information provider I can choose. I want to choose. So it's Binance, Bitfinex and Euron Finance. And then click here and let's say I want to follow uh, Anchor. Let's, so we go upwards and try to find an A and C. Uh, I, where are we? A and we're almost there. <laughs> you have to be patient. There's so many cryptos. So the interesting thing is you are seeing how many cryptos are available uh, to track on this deck. So here's ADA and I'll probably just pass that. Uh, for the sake of making things shorter, I'm just going to click on any one, any of this. Uh, let's say AIX. I've never seen this before. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the ticker name because I can rename it to whatever I want. So uh, I'm going to just name AIX. You can actually say crypto or whatever. I'm just providing an example so you can see what is available. Oh, you know why, guys? I just found Anchor Protocol. So now we have the information here. Uh, as I was mentioning, you can rename this to anything you like. So uh, you can say ANC USDT or just leave it at ANC, which is my preference because every crypto I just track it as compared to USD or use, I mean, a stable coin. So it is this easy. You can move them around if you don't like them in a certain place. So that's, that's as easy as it gets. 
uh, and you can just go ahead and delete this or even create a new folder so you can create folders and subfolders and as you'll see here uh, i have several folders including one to control my actual stream so it's not limited to uh just stocks and crypto you can do a ton of things with this deck uh so yeah let's go here i'm going to close this briefly and uh so in general this is one of the smartest tools that makes my work so much easier and remember guys you can actually configure uh, mouse shortcuts to one button so uh, you can actually do the the full uh, open the browser, open Binance or uh, Qcoin, whatever you have your exchange, and go to this particular menu within Binance to trade and then to trade this particular uh, pair of tokens just by tapping one of those buttons and you save so much time. So uh, if you want to know more about this deck in particular, about the price, I'm going to place a link uh, on the description of this video. If you click on that link and make a purchase, it's going to... Uh, Give me a tiny uh, kickback from Amazon, which I would be grateful for. It's not going to cost you anything. And uh, I hope this video was useful to you. And uh, if you do buy this uh, stream deck, uh, I, I'm sure it's going to make your life easier too. So don't forget to, to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to properly invest like a, a Silicon Valley investor would do. See you on the next video. Bye-bye now.